admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you gotta find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also saved some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. Eh, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. Locked. That sucks. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want to chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. Step up, step up. Mama is a better cook for something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah. Let me tell you, that man can't eat. Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. 
Not for a month, eh? At least, no more to Limpia. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. That a 45 blaster under your coat, or are you just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. Blade Runner, huh? How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davey Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davey like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back on the job soon. Ever see shell casings like these? Oh, where'd you find these? They're from an ender. I ain't seen one of these babies in hell, maybe two, three years. Somebody shot up Brunsetter's shop with one. Sucker had it coming. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Why's that? Brunson is always putting on those airs like he's better than everybody else. But he'll do anything for a buck. Sell anything to anybody. That's where I draw the line. If it's suspicious, it's out of here. Got no place at Bullet Bob's. You know anyone who might sell Ender rifles? There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is? Ezo, huh? Sounds like you don't like him. I've been around here a long time, Ray. It always pisses me off when some dilettante sets up shop and tries to horn in on my action. How long has Ezo been around? He's brand new. He's a cold son of a bitch, too. I went over to introduce myself when he first moved in, and he practically ignored me. Said he was too busy to talk. Don't think I didn't consider kicking his ass, too. Hey, check out the man's database. Is that the standard model? What, the Kaya? Yeah, it's department issue. I could fix it up for you, make it not quite so freaking standard if you get my drift. What for? Hey, Ray, relax. I'm your pal, ain't I? You don't have to step soft around me. The department's been infiltrated, right? That's the only way Davy could have been taken out like he was. Holden is good, no question. When you hook into the mainframe, you always give them everything. But you don't always want them to know what you know. Cause then they'd know, you know? What do you say? Sounds like a plan. Set it up. There you go. Better than new. I've modified this thing to let you pick and choose what gets uploaded to the police mainframe. Right click on any clues you want to keep to yourself. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Cause I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. Thanks for your time.
nice looking creatures you have around here. See? Good product. Scorpio's my best work. Finest quality. Isn't that illegal? I have permit, senor. My customers demand authenticity. This your work? Ah, dragon. Dragon? See? Si. I'm a subterra. Dragonfly late of the American South Swamp Land. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Items like that very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item. And most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hopper Circle. Might want to pay for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsing. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. 